Hey guys, it's Jmoff from Jmoff Pickup. Today we're going to talk about how to game hired guns. Now hired guns, for those of you that don't know, refer to women that are hired for their beauty, right? At a venue or an establishment where they're working, okay? This includes bartenders, hostesses, strippers. Um, I'm gonna cover how to game strippers in a different post, a uh, different video. Um, let's see. Um, waitresses. Uh, Go-go dancers basically any girl that was hired because she is hot and then she's working for the venue. Okay, so typically in all my other Types of game situations. I Encourage opening direct which means you go straight in you look the girl in the eyes you talk to her like hey What's up? I wanted to meet you. What's your name? You expressed interest your physical you flirt with her the problem with doing that type of approach in a hired gun environment on a hired gun is that this is how all the customers are acting so basically like picture there's like a hot waitress right all the guys in the restaurant are like constantly staring at her she's probably dressed in a little outfit like say let's use hooters as an example okay so you have a hooters waitress she has her tits out like her ass is kind of falling out of her shorts she is just constantly used to like everyone staring at her guys are like making sexual remarks directly to her Guys are all trying to flirt with her. Like she has to like flirt back because she wants to get a good tip and she wants to like make the customer have a good experience. But she's not almost ever into those guys, right? It's like fake interest. But these guys like feed off that and they're like, oh, like this girl likes me or like, you know, um, whatever, like this hot girl is into me, even though she's, that's just part of her job, right? So it kind of like feeds these guys to make more sexual remarks, give her more attention, flirt more. So you don't want to be placed into that category of what I'm going to refer to as the customer frame, right? And what that means is basically like someone who's constantly giving her attention, complimenting her, saying sexual remarks, flirting with her. So in the case of hired guns, I strongly advocate approaching them, talking to them indirect. So what that means is you're going to be not hitting on them directly, and you're also going to be cementing yourself as industry, okay? So what that means is you're going to, there's this whole thing called like us versus them. So like she might be like fucking like some loser manager from Hooters, like some guy that's like overweight and like dropped out of high school, but he's like on the inside, right? It's like the us versus them. He's part of the staff. He's part of like the cool group. And then you have all these like loser customers that are just like out there trying to um, you know, just throwing themselves all, all over this girl, like throwing themselves at this girl, right? So what I usually do, and I actually was a DJ before I got into like seduction and pickup coaching and stuff like that. I was a club DJ. You don't need to be. You can say that you're a DJ. You can say you're uh, an event promoter. You can say that you throw parties. Like you don't, you don't need to like flat out lie to them if you don't want to. Um, but the way I typically do it is I'll be like, Hey, what's up? I just moved here. Like Sam at Hooters, right? The, the waitress comes over. Hey, what's up? I just moved here. Um, I'm going to be DJing at clubs, like whatever the hottest two clubs are. So I'm going to be DJing at clubs X and Y. Um, have you ever been to those clubs? And she's like, wow, like you're going to be playing in those places? Yeah, yeah. Like, do you know any other good places I could play at? And she's like, oh, well, there's this club and this club. Oh, cool. Like, let me invite you out when I have events. Sound good? Like, and you, you're getting her number like really fast, right? Because you're working with very limited time frames when you're gaming a hired gun. The reason for that is they're working, right? So if it's a waitress, you're gonna have multiple opportunities to talk to her because she's gonna be coming back over and over. But if you're trying to talk to a, a really hot bartender real quick, she's you know, serving the, all these customers. So you're gonna have a really small window. Or if it's a hostess that's seating people, you know, you're gonna get interrupted within a minute or two by the next people that come into the restaurant. So you have these little tiny windows. So my principle basically is if, if you have more time, like if, you, if you're gonna have more opportunities to talk to them, you don't need to go like really hard for the number really fast. I still usually get it pretty fast and then I just fill in um, comfort and vibing further. So say in the case of the, the Hooters waitress, um, I might not ask for the number on the first time she comes around, I might ask the second. First time she comes around, I'm like, yo, what's up? I just moved here um, from Las Vegas or from New York or whatever, just some cool city. I'm gonna be playing it um, 
you know, popular clubs, and I'm not saying popular clubs, but I'm, not, I'm picking the most two popular clubs. How many playing at this club and this club? Um, have you been there before? Oh yeah, that's really cool. Okay, customer frame gone, right? Now you're part of the industry crowd. You are part of the people, the high value um, industry crowd, okay? That's really huge because now you're no longer a customer. It's just like, oh, like you're so hot. Like, I think you're so sexy, all this shit, right? Um, and then I usually get the number under the pretense that I'm going to invite them to an event. Or a lot of times I, I will say, like one of my favorite ones is I'll say, um, do you ever do any guest bartending? Like say you're hitting on a bartender and you're like, do you do work outside of this bar? Like I throw big events. Sometimes we need extra people to hire. Like, can I grab your info and I can hire you when we have big events? Can you write your number down real quick? So now you have this girl's info. And yes, you got it under the pretense that you're gonna be hiring her for an event, but the event, if they bring it up, which they even usually don't over text, if they do bring it up, they're like, oh, when's this event? Like, let me know the details. You're like, oh, I'm still planning it, it's gonna be next month. You just kind of push that off and it just kind of like got you in the door so you can meet up with them for a date. So when it gets to, the, so you get the number and then when it gets to the point of texting with them, um, again, I don't, I don't ever bring up the event, right? I just treat it like a normal number close. So I'm like, hey, what's up? It's John, the DJ just moved here. Hey, how's it going? Like really, it was really cool meeting you. Yeah, when are you free for drinks this week? Okay, so I switch it over text to direct. Um, and once in a while, you're gonna run into a situation where she has a boyfriend and she gave you her number because she thought it was like giving you her number for like a work opportunity. And then she's like, oh, like I thought like you just wanna hire me for this thing. I actually have a boyfriend, it's fine. There's plenty of times where they actually will just come and meet you for drinks and you end up banging them, right? But keep in mind this type of girl is going to be very busy. A lot of them have like, a lot of them have multiple jobs. Like they'll be waitressing at one place. They'll be bartending at another place. They'll be a hostess at another place. So like a lot of times they're very busy and they're also getting hit up a lot because all these girls are like legitimate nine out of 10 or above. Um, so they're getting hit up a lot from lots of guys. So a lot of times you have to like work the lead over text. I'm not gonna cover that in this video how to do that, but you're gonna be work like kind of hitting her up like on, a, on a, every two to three days, four days, like trying to like um, arrange some kind of plan to meet up, okay? That's basically how you do it. And, and you can you can literally even get the number within five seconds. Like, um, I'm gonna put this out here publicly. I usually only teach this on, on my live programs because I don't want it like becoming a big epidemic at the clubs, but the girls that are go-go dancing up on a platform, right? So they're wearing a little outfit, they're, they're dancing, they're hired to dance for the event. You can't run what they call a set, like an interaction with her. You can't, you don't, there's no time. She's busy dancing, right? And when she's done dancing, she's gonna like, go straight to the back room or whatever and like there's no time to like run an interaction. So I developed a method to get their number like within like five seconds. And you might think, oh, that's really weak. Like she's not gonna text back. She's not giving her number to anyone else that night, right? So you're the only number, you actually stand out and I've actually fucked a lot of girls like this. So I literally like, the first step is you motion for them to come down. And at first, a lot of the times they're gonna think like, oh, he's just a customer. He wants to just flirt. And so like, so you have to like give her that strong eye contact and just like this, and if she goes like this, or like, you know, some kind of uh, non-compliance, you're like, you just do this like body language, like one second, one second, one second, right? So she, it's like an easier for her to commit to, because like now she's a little bit curious, and it's only one second, what's the big deal? When she comes down, all I say is, I, I DJ in the city, or I, I throw events, right? Usually I just say I throw events. I throw parties, I throw events, I want to hire you. And I have my phone out, right? So I have the phone in my hand. I have my dial pad out before I even go in. I just, come, I approach with the dial pad. I come up with the dial pad, right? So I've got the dial pad open. I go up, shakes her head. One second, one second, one second. She comes down and I don't have my phone out. Like, oh, I, I just have it ready. Comes down and you gotta fucking yell over the music and shit. So you go up near your ear. Hey, I throw events. I want to hire you put your number in, right? And if she asks you a question or you're just gonna objection, you just answer it real quick. Oh, like I throw all these really big events, I want you to dance for my event. Put your number in. And then <laughs> over text, you're just inviting her for drinks. It's, it's, it sounds like underhanded, but in what scenario are you gonna get that girl's number? Like, oh, hey, like, I thought you were really cute. Oh, thanks, goes back to dancing, right? She's not, you, you can't say, oh, I thought you were really cute, give me your number. You're a customer at that point. Everyone's saying that to her, right? So just to recap, um, you want to be opening these girls in direct. You want to just say like, 
hey, I just moved here, I'm gonna be DJing in the city. Hey, I just moved here, I'm gonna be throwing events in the city. Um, hey, I just moved here, I'm running a company here. Um, whatever it is, it, ha- it, it should be something that like displays some kind of value and also breaks you out of the customer frame and makes you industry. That's why DJ and party promoter are the best things because it's doing two things at once. It's, it's displaying value and putting you out of the customer frame. Then you want to get that number relatively fast, right? Like you don't know um, when she's gonna be interrupted by a customer or by her next task at work. Um, so you wanna like quickly give her a reason to give you that number. I wanna invite you to parties. I'm gonna be throwing parties. Um, a lot of times they'll say, I can't get my number out of work. In which case you say, write it down on a piece of paper. If they won't write it down on a piece of paper, say it out loud and I'll memorize it. In which case you just kind of like take the area code and like hang that on a peg in your memory. Cause our memory, our working memory can hold seven items. So you, you take the area code and it should be an area code you're familiar with if you live in the city, kind of ignore that part. And then you repeat the next seven digits this, for American numbers. You repeat the next seven digits over and over in your mind. And you're like, okay, cool. Take out your phone, plug in the area code, put in the seven digits that you've been saying over and over. And then you can show them even and make them confirm. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I, I try not to like really compliment them. And like, again, back to the Hooters example, um, after I have the number, I'm still like filling in more comfort and I'm actually flirting with them at this point, but it's not coming from like a, a low value customer frame anymore. It's coming from a high value, um, I'm on the inside frame. Like think about it, if she's fucking like some low value high school dropout, maybe overweight manager from Hooters, once you've cemented yourself as like a DJ on the inside, you're like way above that guy and now you can switch to being direct and flirting with her and stuff like that because you're not coming from a low value like a loser position you're coming from a high value industry position so that's pretty much all i have to say about that um so don't be afraid to approach these women these these are some of my favorite type of women to bring into my life because it's usually the most hot the hottest girls you're going to see like lots of times when you go into a club like the hired guns are going to be the hottest girls in the venue okay um you go into a bar the hottest girls will be the hostess and the bartenders so you have to approach these girls and you have to do it the way that I said because if you go direct, they're just going to blow you out for acting like a customer. So thank you guys. Hope you learned a lot. See you next time.